right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. All right, so here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov. His future in all likelihood is in the UFC Hall of Fame, but his present is this fight right now, once again taking on a fellow top 10, 155-pound fight. And when you've done everything that Habib has done, that's all you see is the best the business has to offer. Yeah. And after the McGregor fight, his star shined more brightly than he ever could have imagined. I know how humble Habib is. I know how much he loves to live in uh, privacy. Right. I understand that. But when you beat Conor McGregor in the way that he did, he became an international icon. And it shows as you watch him in his pursuits of of just opportunities and everything. But nothing is available to Habib if he does not take care of right. business in this octagon. And every time he steps foot there, he does exactly that. One of the most dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. Going into that Conor McGregor fight, UFC 229, October of 2018, had about 4 million Instagram followers. Yes. How about 15 million? You got some catching up. I mean, you. the next day, he was up to <laughs> 10. It was unbelievable. That's what happens when you fight Conor McGregor and you beat him. Most lightweights say, top to bottom, the toughest matchup for them in this division is Khabib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's what is he first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, big. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nibagomeda! All right, grip the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. striker versus grappler. It doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plans seem pretty clear. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guard to make sure that he is in the grappling situation. The striker needs to stay at space. The striker needs to maintain distance and fight behind that beautiful jab he possesses. And they separate. And he landed the right hand there. 
right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh, misses with the jab. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you see in Muscle. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Single collar tie now. Oh, beautiful counter with the punch there, and certainly making good use of what is an obvious edge in reach. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling. Beautiful take down land. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Seamless transition to half guard there. Unbelievable how quickly he was able to slice that leg through to get to the half guard. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. And they both stand up. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Nice shot to the body there. Watch the shot. Not there. Big punch to the body. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Nirmago Meta. Straight punch there, lands on the counter. Nice job using his reach advantage there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land a beautiful punch to the head. Nurmago Medov gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Lands the right hand. A nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counter after blocking shots. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Flush right hand is true. Oh, that's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick pony. Don't call him a one-trick pony, John, because he isn't. He is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. It's a beautiful fast foot jab with meaning. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch like this puts a smile on my face. Body shot after body shot. He keeps landing these strikes. Really zapping the gas tank of his opponent. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Beautiful, straight counter. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively, that's good. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything done. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. What a punch. Battling for hooks. Just misses with the jab. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Five minutes in the books. All right, next round is underway, and what a great job defensively in the previous round. I think my face from last night's dinner is more swollen than his opponent's. I mean, he did a fantastic job of seeing 
when his opponent was trying to attack and getting his guard up so that he's not taking damage to the face. Great defensive fight IQ shown by this fighter. And they separate. Oh, big go. Ooh, blocks the shot. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive through And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Nurmagomedov's has got full mount now. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? You know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there absolutely. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Oh, that'll work. The grounded pound strike is good. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. He's attacking on bar now. There it is. He got it. He got it, John. How about it? Gets the win by submission. Beautifully executed there on the ground. He gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Wrigley out there has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 11 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, Habib the Eagle Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. and. They put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win, but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back, he looks for submissions over and over again. Eventually, he found one tonight and got the desired result.